Hey guys, it's Sarah Joy. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different for you because I'm taking it outside and we're gonna do like a slight gardening project. And I'm going to be showing you how to do a DIY rain catchment system so that you can water your lawn with that because we know during these hot summer months, um, saving any and all water to be able to reuse on your garden is essential. I'm gonna be reusing an old countertop water filter. Um, it is very similar to the Berkey filters that you see. It's actually from my Alexa Pure. So we got a new filter for that recently and so I'm gonna be taking the old one and uh, essentially recycling it <laughs> and showing you how I do that. Before we get into it, I want to take a second and remind you about my course that is coming out in just a couple of weeks. I'm so excited about it. It is called Attainable Aesthetic. Just a couple videos back, I announced what the course would be, and it is all about interior design. If you missed that video, I can give you a slight recap. Um, it's really what it sounds like. It's how to get your home to your ideal aesthetic, no matter what your budget is. So no matter what kind of time you have, what kind of skill level you have, really what kind of interests that you have in interior design or what kind of budget that you have to put toward it. I'm gonna show you an attainable way to decorate your home and it's gonna be really fun. It's gonna go through um, really how to source a lot of items. There's uh, a total of four modules really. Uh, the first one is gonna be really nailing down your personal style. Even if you don't know how to put it into words or you don't really know what you like, um, I'll have some guides and some quizzes to walk you through it and we will nail down your personal style. Then we're gonna do an exercise going through your home and seeing what you already have and showing you how to style um, what you already have to the aesthetic that you really love. The next one's gonna be all about thrifting and doing simple DIYs to make updates on the things that you purchase. And then the last thing is gonna be how to source quality decor in your home that doesn't have to cost a lot and really what is worth prioritizing for quality versus what is not. It's gonna be a great course, I'm very excited about it. So if you wanna find out more, go ahead and head over to the link that I will put in the description below and you can find out all the things that you need to know about the course. It does launch on July 8th, so stay tuned for that. It's gonna be really exciting. So I'm going to be working with just some um, really easy materials. The only thing that I purchased for this is some screen material. Um, which I just got basically from the screen door section of the hardware store. And then after that, I am using a recycled Alexa Pure filter, which is a water filtration system. We had used this for about a year inside our home. It's good for about 5,000 gallons. Um, and that's to remove like all the toxins out of your water. Now, since this is just gonna be going um, and collecting rainwater and using that for gardening. I don't need it to be at its full capacity, so I'm okay. It was just basically running a lot slower just the older it got, so I'm okay with using this older filter <laughs> outside um, because we would have just thrown it away. So once I replace that one, I have this one, so it's basically a carbon filter and um, it's got this little part that you attach from the top barrel the bottom barrel and then you screw it on. So I'm gonna be using this. And then again, I got this for free. I have some buckets that I've collected from a local restaurant. Um, so they're food safe buckets. They're five gallon containers that again, would have been thrown away, um, but they're food safe and I'm gonna use them to make this little project happen. The last thing worth mentioning that I had on hand is some rocks. Um, they're basically like this. Um, I picked them up because I thought I might use them in the garden and then I did not. So I have just like a whole big bag of rocks um, that are like this that I'm going to use as well. Let me take a second and explain to you the process that I envision for how this is going to go. Um, as far as other tools I have, I basically just have two different drill bits. One is a half inch, which is the size of the Alexa Pure. The second one is just a three quarter inch drill bit. And I think I'm gonna use that to um, put some other holes in another bucket so that it has a flow of how the water will go down. So let me show you what we're working with. So here's the process that I'm seeing. The first, I'm working with three buckets, two lids. 
So the first bucket is gonna remain completely open and that is to catch the rain. Um, because I don't wanna have a lot of standing water and in insects, I'm gonna fill this bucket with rocks. So any standing water is gonna be at the bottom of the rocks. So you're not really gonna see it too much. That bucket is gonna rest on top of the second bucket, which is gonna have a lid on top. The bottom of this bucket and the top of that lid are gonna have a lot of holes in it so that water can run through. Um, underneath that second bucket's lid, I am going to have a sheet of this screening. So that is gonna catch any sediment or leaves or anything else that would try to run into that bucket. Then at the bottom of the second bucket and into the lid of the third bucket is gonna be just a small uh, half inch hole and that is where the Alexa Pure is gonna sit. So then the third bucket, anything that falls into there is just filtered water. So then I can just remove that and use the water that falls inside of it to water plants. Or um, if I get really creative in the future, I can just drill a little hole into the bottom of it and put a spout so that I can fill up my watering cans with that. The last step, is just using some paint that I have on hand to paint them a more go away green, if you will. Um, so I got this can of Oops paint that is in this color. <laughs> so it's gonna be a, little, a lot more neutral um, and I will paint them with this. So that's my plan. I'm not really sure that it's foolproof. I'm not an engineer, just I'm giving it my best go. So let's get started and see how it goes. Okay, so here I have the bottom bucket with the lid and the top bucket. So they're going to sit like this. And now I'm going to make my first hole, which is uh, the half inch hole. should slide through. Through one. Okay, so I fed it through and I'm just screwing it on there until it's nice and tight. All right, there we go. Feels good. So there is the filter, and that's where it's gonna feed through. So now we're gonna put that there. Now for this one, I'm gonna change the drill bit and do a lot more holes on this one, because um, this is where I need a lot of water to filter through. So let's go ahead and change that. So now I have my bigger drill bit. And I guess let's go to town. Now I'm going to take my screen material and cut it to size over the top of the lid. Okay, so I'm thinking that right about here looks like enough. So yeah, I'm just gonna make a cut. Okay, so here is my netting. And then there's my top. I'm just gonna go ahead and snap this into place. So I've been thinking, as I was sitting here and scrubbing off the label that was on the side, um, I'm realizing that where these two sit together, there's just the tiniest like crack here. So I think just for all intents and purposes, I'm going to go ahead and caulk it real quick um, so that we don't have anything 
getting in here that would go directly into our filtered water. Capiche? That's it. All right, so all in all, here is the system. It's just slightly shorter than our AC unit, so it actually fits nicely behind it without drawing any attention to it, and I do have it on the same concrete block. Again, I might lift it up slightly and just add on a little spout right there so I can just directly fill up my watering cans from there, um, and it might make it a little easier. But let me show you just inside the top. Here's where we have all the rocks. Um, again, no standing water, which has been great. We did just get a tiny bit of rain, so I tested it out there, and I also just uh, ran the hose through it to make sure that it was all good. It filtered right through, no pooling here, and then uh, it filtered through here, and it's now in this bottom bucket. It's working pretty splendidly, if I do say so myself. And um, again, this lid would come straight off if I needed to just take it off and pour it into my watering cans. So. Fun stuff. I hope you guys try this project. If you're looking for something to do with your old filters, um, this could make great use out of it and feed your garden. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was a fun one to make. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss a video every single Tuesday whenever they come out. I'll be giving you interior design tips every week or just taking you along on projects that I do around the house. Other than that, guys, I hope you have a fabulous week, and I will see you next Tuesday with a brand new video. Bye. What a wonderful